Welcome to Mac Helpers. This video I'm going to show you how to use the wrench or the tool section in pages. So I'm going to start by clicking the little wrench icon up here and see how it says that tools is just showing you which one you have opened up here. And let's go over find. Find is good when you have a let's say a lot of text in your document. And so first you'll see over here is a little little grind the wheel and so you can just do find or you can click find and replace or you can match match the case like the that's whether it's going to be capital or lowercase and you can find whole words. So let's go ahead and let's say I wanted to I, just for easy I'm going to change adding. Let's say I wanted to find adding. And then it's actually automatically found it and it's going to pull up every single one in there. So you just got to be careful with which one you're doing. So let's say I'm going to change adding. So this is me adding important text to changing important text. And all you do is hit replace. And see how it automatically changed my document to this is me changing important text. And that's about it. So now let's go back to the tools and let's go for change tracking. Now this is great when you're sharing a document between let's say different business associates, different students that you might be working with, whatever it may be. But you can turn tracking on and then what you could do is this will change, see how I just typed markup? It, cha it showed me changing, adding to changing. I know that sounds weird, but you can see the little cross through it. But if you want to turn tracking off, you can go ahead and turn that off. And you can hit accept all changes, reject all changes, or you can hit cancel. So let's go ahead and keep that on. And then I'll just go ahead and final. And then you go back through and change it later on if you want to see what was done in the document. Now let's go back. So let's go to document setup. So do document setup, this is important if you need to change a little bit how the overall feel of the entire document looks. So let's go and if you click on like the arrows over here, you can see how I'm decreasing the margins or you can increase the margins, whatever you really need to do. It's really simple. Just click and drag and it kind of tells you exactly where you're at. Uh, this is to change the header. You can add page numbers. You can put in like the title of your book if you're writing a book. A lot of different things there. Here's your footer. You can once again add page numbers down here. Uh, you can actually increase the size down there as well for your margins. And you can also hit plus. Or this is and this is, it gives you a lot of features that you can use in this document setup section. But I like do using it in the normal look layout. This is good if you want to add like let's say a big image or a big table and like you want to take up a big section of the page and really see where it's at but and the last thing really in the document setup is to change paper size and they only give you really two setups so this is an 11 by 17 um, actually that's just an A4 it's a little bit smaller I'm sorry it's not 11 by 17 and then you go back to US letter which most people are going to be using so I don't make any changes here but I just wanted to show you exactly what that meant so I'm gonna go ahead and click done it takes you right back to the main body and main document of the page now let's go back to the wrench tool and I just showed you how document setup works now let's click on settings now settings this is going to be how the overall pages program is going to work so you can have the check spelling so check spelling is see over on Mac helpers in red how it's got the underline dotted line that's just showing you that the dictionary in pages doesn't recognize that word and so that's all it does. You can turn it off and see how the line's no longer there. It's, if you were to print this out, that line's not going to show up. It's just letting you know. So I like having that on. Word count is very simple, especially if you're a student and you need to hit a certain a number of words. This is great. It shows you nine words in this document. I'm going to go ahead and turn that off because it's not necessary. Comments, you can add comments. This is great. Once again, if you're sharing a document and you're doing a collaboration between a lot of different people. Rulers, rulers are nice when you're uh, really kind of really dialing in where you want everything to look and kind of spacing out things properly. Center guides. This is great when you're using tools or you're doing a text box and you want to be able to center something on the page or kind of align a bunch of different items together. Edge guides is let's say you had let's say two pictures and you want to make sure they're both right on the they're lined up on the left hand margin together. That's what you use edge guides for. Spacing guides is really good if you're let's say separating three things along a page. Let's say you have three small images, you want them to be equally spaced. Spacing guides will allow you to do that. Author name, just like it sounds, you go on here and you could type, type in Troy. That's my name, so I'm gonna go ahead and type in Troy there. And that is about it for settings on that section. Let's go back to the tools. 
The next thing is setting up a password. This is important. Let's say you had this is a document that you had. Maybe you had important uh, banking information, or you just maybe this is a personal diary. You can go ahead and set a password. So if anybody were to find your iPad or your i any i device and they wanted to see what you're typing, they'd have to know your password to be able to get in there. Which so that's very handy. And then let's go back once again to the wrench, the tool section. And I just went over set passwords. So look at print. Printing is only going to work if you have an air print capable computer or printer, I should say. And what you would do, let's say you had you're in a, a library or you had in a, an office that had that. So now it's going to look for your printers. I don't have an air print printer, so it says no printers were found. And so you can change how many copies you want, and then you go ahead and click print if you have a capable printer. The last thing is the help section. Now I showed you the help section up here where it just kind of turns on the basic things. This help section is going to open up a whole nother section. So if you need to find something very specific that we're not exactly showing you in this video, you can go and click that and then you could really dive in and really see what Apple provides for you in this exact layout. So let's say you wanted to add images. It's going to allow you to show or to see exactly how to do each and every one of these things. It's really nice, really easy to use, but we're Mac helpers, so we're here to show you how to do this in a video so you don't have to look it up yourself. You can just watch us and kind of go along together. And that is basically it for the tools section. The tools are really for managing the main, like the overall document, not really the specific details and styles of your document, but more of the entire document as a whole. And so if you ever need to change, let's say, widths on your on your borders, you need to find a specific word, all the things I just kind of showed you, that is what the wrench is really for. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to email us. We're definitely here to help. Info at yourmachelpers, plural.com. Info at yourmachelpers.com. Find us on Facebook, just Mac Helpers. Or go to yourmachelpers.com. You can send us a message that way. Uh, feel free to email us anytime. We're here to help. Thanks.